United States has provided hundreds of millions of dollars in funding for the system. Coverage of the ongoing conflict in Israel has featured recurring images like this, missiles streaming across the sky and exploding midair. These are missiles from Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system, a land-based system that intercepts and destroys short-range rockets and mortars. It has become a bedrock of the country's defense since its introduction in 2011, and in the current round of hostilities, Israel's military said the system has intercepted more than 200 of the more than 1,000 rockets fired towards Israel as of May 12th. Here's how the complex detection and interception system works. The system is powered by missile defense batteries, each containing three main components. These batteries can defend across short-range rocket and mortar attacks within almost 45 miles of the battery. They are also mobile, so they can be moved to where they are needed. First, a radar unit detects an incoming rocket and relays information about its speed and trajectory to the battery's control center. The control center's computers calculate if the rocket is going to hit populated areas. If it is, a missile is fired from the launcher. Each launcher contains 20 interceptor missiles. Each receives constant guidance updates from the control center and its internal radar. The missile destroys the incoming rocket by exploding near it. The goal is to do this far away from populated areas, minimizing damage on the ground. The defense system has intercepted over 2,400 rockets bound for civilian areas since its launch in 2011, according to an Israeli military spokesperson. During a conflict in 2012, the Iron Dome knocked down 421 rockets launched from Gaza and bound for Israeli cities before a November ceasefire. And during the 2014 war in Gaza, it intercepted 700 rockets fired by Islamist movement Hamas, a 90% success rate that effectively blunted the Palestinian group's aerial threat. The United States has provided hundreds of millions of dollars in funding for the system, and has also bought and is testing two Iron Dome batteries of its own. And Israel has expanded the defense system by installing missile batteries on ships, and the system is in the midst of being upgraded to combat the threat posed by unmanned drones. As the current conflict continues, so will the use of the Iron Dome.